Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Jerry Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 things that your iPhone can do and you probably didn't know of. Now, of course, iPhones have a ton of features and a lot of them are actually hidden and every day you will discover new things that you can do with your iPhone. That's what's amazing about iOS. Now, another thing you can do right now is subscribe to the channel as most of you guys that are watching the videos are currently not subscribed. So please make sure to do so. It really helps out a lot. Let's get things started with the stock mail app of iOS. Let's say you're on the mail app and by accident, you delete one of your emails. You will have to go back, go to the trash folder and move the email back to any of the folders that you need to. Or what you can do is double tap with three fingers like this and you can undo that process and actually recover your email in seconds. As of course, we know by now on iOS, you can drag and drop now pretty much anything photos, links, text, things like that. You can drag and drop between apps and of course on the apps, notes and things like that. But did you know that you can also do that with voice messages that you get on iMessage? So here's a voice message that I got and what I can do from here is drag this and I can of course go to another conversation and drop it just like that. And I can actually now send this to someone else. Now it won't be sent as an actual voice message, but it will be sent as an audio file just like this. So if I tap here, I can send it. And of course the person receiving it will receive it just like that. You can tap on it to open it, play it, and of course even save it to your device. Of course, everyone knows by now that you can tap and hold the space bar to turn the keyboard into a trackpad and move the cursor anywhere you want. But did you know this? This is super useful. You tap and hold the shift button and then tap and hold the space bar and you can start selecting text just like that. This is super useful, especially if you just want to select the specific text. You can just drag and drop the cursor anywhere you want, tap and hold the shift. And of course, then start selecting very, very precisely. This will make selecting on your device, selecting text very easy. And you will probably use this on daily basis. Now this right here is really cool. Let's say you're playing a video on YouTube and you want to use that sound, maybe music or this, just the sound from the video to record a video from your iPhone and have it playing in the background. Here's how you can do that. I have a video here playing. So let's just turn up the volume a bit. So we know that the video is actually playing in the background. So what I need to do now is just drag down here, the notification center, and you can see we have still the video playing there. I can tap right here, tap and hold the photo and just lock it right there. Now we're recording a video. And as you can hear, we still have the video playing in the background. Once you're done, you tap here and you're good to go. This right here is a thing that you can do with Siri that is actually super useful and you will probably need it, especially people who keep their iPhone's brightness on manual. You will actually need this a lot of times. So if you have your iPhone's brightness very low and you get outside, maybe where it's really sunny, you will probably not see anything on your iPhone. And sometimes it will be really hard to see the brightness slider and turn up the brightness of your device in order to use your iPhone. Well, Siri can do that for you. Siri can actually change the brightness of your iPhone to any amount that you want. Just ask Siri for any amount of brightness or just ask her to turn up the brightness a bit or all the way up or all the way down anything you want. Turn the brightness all the way up. Just like that, you can see the brightness of the device is all the way up. Now, whenever you're with your friends or anyone, and you want to tell them, show them something, maybe photos of a car, of, of a place or anything you want, you don't have to actually try to Google it or just search for photos on social media, things like that. Just ask Siri. Show me photos of Kobe Bryant. And you can see right there how easy that is. Siri will show you photos of anything you ask her for. And of course, you can tap on those photos to view them on the bigger size. Now, this right here is a pretty cool trick that you can do on your iPhone. It's probably not that convenient, but it's really cool. And you can probably do it to someone else as well. And it will be really, really funny. You know that on the iPhone's lock screen, we have access to a camera button here. And of course, 
even one from here i don't know why we need two cameras on the lock screen but anyways you can actually replace those buttons with any other app you want to so you go to the shortcuts app go to automations here and tap on create personal automation from here make sure you choose app and go ahead and choose the camera app so you will have it right here and then click on is open there tap the next button tap on open app tap app right there and choose any app you want to open instead of the camera app in this case let's just choose the calculator right there tap next make sure you have this disabled and you disable this as well tap the dumb button and you will notice now when we go to the lock screen here try to open the camera app from here it opens the calculator or try to swipe here to open the camera app it opens the calculator now why i say this is not that convenient is that it will do the same if you try to open the camera from the home screen icon here so you can see just right there it goes back to the calculator app now the only way to go back to the camera is of course by disabling the automation from here now you can get back to your camera but this is actually really cool if you just want to maybe prank your someone or if you use a third party camera app and you don't use a stock camera app of ios then of course you can re place the lock screen buttons with any other app you want and now let me show you guys how to actually record videos on your iphone secretly without being detected this is really cool now what you can do go to the camera app and make sure you have your iphone on the video mode now from here just make sure you bring down the notification center and swipe just like this until you see the red button there and then just tap on the volume up button you can see now it is recording right there what you will have to do is just swipe up from the bottom right here and you can just keep your finger like this so of course it's not very practical here from the stand and the camera but if you just hold your finger here you can see you will basically see the home screen here and you're recording a video and not being noticed of course you will have their iphone right there recording the video and if i bring it down you can see it's still recording and you can of course stop anytime you want or just swipe up all the way and it will stop the recording at any time you need to. Another much easier trick is doing it from the app switcher and here's how you do it. Go to the camera app and just go to the video mode, tap right here and make sure you swipe like this. So now we're on the app switcher of course, you can just swipe here to see only the app cards of the other apps but we still have the camera app here recording you can see the seconds right there it is going so it's recording and we're here on the app switcher no one will know that you're actually recording you only have your iphone on the app switcher and when you want to go back you can see like that we're still recording tap there and you're good to go you have recorded a video on your iphone without being detected Next up is a trick that will let your iPhone tell you who is calling you. So if you don't have your iPhone closed all the time, you leave it on your desk or somewhere around the house, it will actually tell you who is calling. Simply by going to settings, go to phone and then go to announce call. And of course you can choose always here. So every call that you get on your iPhone will be announced by your iPhone. So you know exactly who is calling. And you send this of course as an iMessage you will get this really cool effect you can see right here how cool that looks this is of course a very nice trick when you want to congratulate someone on iMessage when of course they receive this message they will receive the effect as well so that is it for this video guys thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the videos and all these things that your iphone can do and you probably didn't know of make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video subscribe for more i'll see you on the next one